All right, so we're making some good progress here. So in step three, we're going to update the JSP page to change the locale based on user selection. So basically, we're going to give them links at the top of the page where they can choose English, Spanish, or German, and then we'll show the appropriate data accordingly. All right, so let me give, give myself some white space here. And uh, what I'd like to do right here around line eight is um, go ahead and add some href links. So I set up an um, anchor href um, equals IETNN messages test.jsp. And I use a question mark to pass over a parameter. And I have the locale equals en underscore US. So English based in the US. Um, this is basically just a link back to this same JSP page. And a little later, we're going to read that data and process on it accordingly. But for now, we're just setting up the links. So let me just copy this first link here and just paste it about three times. Um, and then I go through and change it up for the different languages here. So on the second item here, uh, this is for Spanish. So I'll do ES underscore ES in all caps. And uh, for the description or the link text, I'll say Spanish. And in parens, I'll say um, ES for España or Spain. Um, I'll do a similar thing here for uh, Germany. Um, DE underscore D. So the language is German and the country is Germany DE. Again, using those language codes from the uh, previous lectures. All right. So that's basically it here for our links. So on our JSP page, we'll have links along the top uh, where the user can select the link and change it to a different locale. So this looks good so far. All right, so let's move up top and let's do some like some processing here because we need to change the locale based on parameter input being passed in. Okay, great. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting up a, a variable here called the locale. And uh, this is a variable that I'm going to use a little later. Um, the actual value for it, I make use of that um, param being passed in, the locale. So I check to see if the param is uh, not empty. If it's not empty, then I use that param dot the locale. Else I make use of the locale that's passed in via the page context dot request. Um, and then this locale variable that I'm setting up, I make the scope equal session. So that's the basic piece there. So now we know at least what value that they're using or that they've selected for the locale. And we have it set in this uh, variable called the locale. So now on line nine, I'll actually set the locale based on that information. And again, I use the dollar sign curly brace, uh, the JSP expression language to actually set the locale based on that param that I just set up um, in, in line five. And then the final thing I need to do here is actually set a reference to the bundle. So I need to tell it which bundle uh, base name to use. So for the base name, I give the actual package name of where the file's located. So it's com love to code JSP tag demo i10n.resources and then the actual file name. So the last entry there is the base file name, my labels. And remember, we have different versions of that My Labels file uh, for Spain, um, for Germany, and it's a dot properties. And again, remember, JSP will handle um, appending the actual um, locale on there and also appending the name dot properties on there accordingly. So that's all kind of built into uh, the JSP system. So again, just highlighting this, the actual package name uh, that we've that we created a little earlier. And then my labels is the actual base name of the file. And then you have the different variations of it um, based off of that. All right, so this looks really good so far with um, setting up our bundle. Um, we can go ahead and save this file and uh, we can go ahead and try it out. All right, so let's try it out. So let's move over to our uh, file here, IAT, IAT and messages text. Messages test.jsp, right click, choose run as, and then choose run on server. And we're up and running. Um, I noticed one small cosmetic thing here that's uh, kind of annoying me here. 
Notice up top, uh, we have our links and then we have howdy on the same line. Um, I think I forgot to put in a line break or a horizontal rule. So let me go back into this file here and add that. So I'm going to add an HR for horizontal rule. So under my links here on line 22, somewhere about, uh, I'll hit enter on line 23. I'll enter an HR, just a horizontal rule, just to kind of give us a nice division of labor here. So let's go ahead and save this file. And then I should be able to go back to my JSP and just do a refresh on it and see, um, see this new alignment. So there's my file. Just do a refresh on it. And there we go. Cool. All right. So that looks better. All right. So right now we're looking at just the uh, um, default locale here that's coming through. So uh, nothing was selected. So it'll default to just using English. Um, if I choose a link for Spanish, um, note the locale being passed over as a parameter is ES underscore ES. So we'll see everything uh, in Spanish here uh, as far as everything from our labels uh, that are based in Spanish. And then we can move forward and we could do a similar thing here by clicking on the link for German. And again, well, now we're seeing the information uh, in German. So the nice thing to notice here is that uh, this is all this all happens in the background for you. Uh, we did the work up front of creating those translated resource files. Uh, but now JSP will actually handle picking up the appropriate file and displaying the information accordingly. Now, there's one little thing I want to change here. Um, I actually want to tell the user uh, what locale they're looking at or, or what language they're looking at, because they may wonder, well, what language is that? Uh, so let me move into this file. I'll enter an HR, uh, just a horizontal rule, and I'll just tell them the selected locale. And then I'll just make use of that variable that we set up earlier in our uh, file here. So the locale, dollar sign, curly brace, JSP expression language. And that'll basically just display the value of that a variable that we set up a little earlier. So I have this new code here. Um, it's in place. I can go up and hit the save button. And now I can go back to my uh, JSP page and I can go through and click on some of the links. Uh, so English. And so note the new entry here at the bottom, selected locale, en underscore us. Um, go for Spanish. Again, the new entry here at the bottom, and then finally a similar thing for German. So cool. So that's a nice little enhancement just to kind of help us out. Mainly a training exercise, but um, good thing to play around with. So I think we're pretty much done with this um, internationalization exercise. So we basically have a multilingual app uh, using JSP and the JSTL tags. Good job.